21, won't you do something for me? Santa Barbara, won't you do something for me? I ain't got no DJ, I have to turn myself up real quick. Make some noise for yourselves, everybody. I see y'all. I see y'all out here. It's cold in a bitch. Wrong camera angle. It's gonna be looking like I'm performing for homeless people. We got like, blankets and layers and beanies. Oh, it's a charity edition of Don't Tell. Either that or a crowd full of plane crash survivors just waiting on the status of their family. It's looking real primal out here right now. It's so cold, I had to put on some dirty clothes under the clean clothes. Just to... I'm just kidding, man. Look at this beautiful color scheme. All the... This, this, this uh, show is sponsored by Skittles and Gabe. <laughs> What's up with y'all president, man? How y'all feel? Yeah. Joe Biden's presidency is like smoking on okay weed. You're grateful, it's doing its job, but you know in your heart there's better out there. This Biden pack is pretty mid. He's just so old and fragile. That teleprompter's whooping his ass, you see me? <laughs> he be over there squinting like he's seeing the light, the light, like the light. Not yet, Lord. Not mid-speech. You know his prompter font on 99. You know how old people text, just big and bold for no reason. He done caught COVID twice. You know, Kamala over there just stretching, you know, just, just getting ready. You gonna get your first female black president. She over there just working that sworn in shoulder. He's the president of the United States. He's a symbol of our strength. Our enemies are watching. Can't be falling off bikes on camera. You do that on your own time. <laughs> if I was a terrorist, I would've been like, attack! <laughs> Hit the button, send it. This man can't cross the street. <laughs> he wasn't mountain biking. He wasn't even mounting a bike. He was going sidewalk to sidewalk. <laughs> Secret Service was there. They're like, he got that. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> he was like that Usher meme, watch this. And then slowly... <laughs> Fell like he got pushed by the ghost of Richard Nixon or somebody. <laughs> it was a ghost. Oh man, I'm out here, you know, just preparing for winter COVID, you know? Here's the thing, I'm vaccinated-ish. Like, I don't have all the boosters, I stopped. You know, like, after a while, I'm like, me and my body, we got it from here. <laughs> I'm gonna just, you know, ignore weirdos. <laughs> people who coughing out loud, you know? You ever be out somebody just coughs real loud? You're just like, bruh, go somewhere with that. Like, like, you don't have to wear a mask all the time, but you, bruh, put it on. <laughs> Plus that vaccine's like an iPhone. It got glitches, updates. Started off two shots, then three, now four, now five. Is this virus 50 cent? How many shots does it take <laughs> to knock this thing out before we can be in the club? You get it? <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but I had to finish the joke. <laughs> I took the vaccine because in my mind, worst case scenario, we turned to zombies. <laughs> but here's the good news. We gonna be the zombies. <laughs> we in the cool crowd. <laughs> we at the popular table. You've seen the zombie movies, who's stressed out? <laughs> Not the zombies. <laughs> Just those people too cool to take the shot. And now every day they gotta wake up and run. What's your hobbies? Not dying? That's it. Meanwhile, zombies, they living their best life. They over here celebrating the fact they could be dead dead, but they undead. How you dead but you can still run errands? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All zombies do is wake up, chill, eat people. That's all they want. <laughs> eat their favorite food. And we judge them because we can't eat people. 
We don't know how people taste. We could be bomb. We could be a new Wagyu. You never know. You ever had lemon pepper her? She could be incredible. Is that your girl? You could eat her out, but you can't finish. Zombies. Can't. I'm just saying. Zombies chilling. You never see two zombies arguing. Ah, oh, 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 bitch ass. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't never seen that scene. What are zombies always doing? Sharing. That's what they doing. <laughs> Sharing. They kill your grandma. What's their first move? Zombies over here. Let's eat on Margaret. I did that. Take the thigh. <laughs> Teamwork. That's what zombies all about. You know what it is? I've been going through it with my girl. We just broke up. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Chris Brown was right. These ladies are not loyal. That's right. That's right. Here's what happened. Me and her, we were in a great place in our relationship, and we were watching the show on Netflix. Uh-huh. <laughs> Somebody hugged this man immediately. <laughs> came here for these jokes. I want to laugh, but I want to hear about these bitches. You got any material on these disloyal ass, cold-hearted ass bitches? Knock, knock, who's there? Not my lady. She's not there anymore. Got any material on that? Are you crying a little bit right now, too? I don't know what happened to you, sir, but what happened to me was we were watching the show together and I thought we were in a good place. I fell asleep and she did some, some real cold-hearted behavior. She moved on without me. I don't know if you guys know the rules of relationships in 2022, but when you're in a relationship and you start a series together, you finish that series together. Bad boys for life. You can't be moving on. If I fall asleep, guess what, bitch? You fall asleep. That's the season. What are you up for? Have you no responsibilities tomorrow? I'm literally crying right now. That's how much I was hurt. Because here's the thing. When your person skips an episode on you, which is so disrespectful, it's right up there with domestic violence, honestly. <laughs> Like, you leave someone after that. Because they never tell you over breakfast, hey, babe, you fell asleep, I finished the season. They don't have that conversation. You got to catch them re-watching. And they don't announce they're re-watching, you just feel it in your spirit. Your reactions ain't in alignment. It's like they've been there before. Either one of, one of two situations happens. Either it's like the season finale is going down, your favorite character just got shot in the head. Oh, they just shot Kareem! They just shot Kareem! She over here just uninterested. Yeah, that's crazy. He is dead. <laughs> R.I.P. These blogs are going crazy, though. <laughs> or it's the opposite. It's like a setup scene. You think nothing's going down. You think the person who just walked on the camera is just an extra. But she over here like, ooh, shit. What you ooh shitting? I ain't seen nothing to deserve an ooh or a shit. She's over here, oh no, I just had a feeling. Nah, you had a memory. That's what you had. You ain't no Netflix psychic. You've been here before. Relationship over. So I'm, I'm in my late 30s, y'all. Yeah, yeah, you said it, but you heard the rest of the crowd. Concerned. They young, they're like, ooh, late 30s, he pre-dead. That's what he is. <laughs> That's what late 30s feels like. Like, you can feel cool and spry, like, in the daytime, but when you go to bed, you might sprain something in a dream. <laughs> when you late 30s, people say disrespectful things to you, like, what's up, OG? Ain't no goddamn OG in here. Clear. I don't see him. I see a young, cool dude. That's who I see. I ain't your big bruh. I don't know your mama. I ain't got the advice. I got the weed. That's what I got. I'm down for whatever. Clubs, drugs, Vegas, it's up. All I need is a little 35, 45 minute nap before. That's all. A little baby nap in the corner, then it's, then it's nothing. 
When you're late 30s, you gotta ask yourself the tough questions. Like, is my pullout game immaculate? Or can I not have kids? <laughs> like, either I'm the best to ever do it, like the Michael Jordan of it. Like, I should teach classes on the weekend. Pelvis out, toes up. That's what it's, <laughs> it's all in your hip mobility. <laughs> either I'm him or I gotta go to the emergency room tomorrow. <laughs> to the experts. Is it sea moss, elderberry? What I gotta take? <laughs> and then I gotta ask the follow-up questions. Is this my fault? Did I jack myself empty? <laughs> Did I run out of eggs? Because I'll be honest, over the pandemic, I know a lot of y'all finished Netflix. I finished porn. That's what I did. <laughs> I got to the end. I got to the last page. <laughs> I've seen it all. Short clips, long clips. All the ethnicities, the step family genre. <laughs> it's to the point now when I watch a, a porn clip, it's like watching an old friends episode. I'm like, oh, this is the one <laughs> where Phoebe gets DP'd. <laughs> I'm James Davis. Thank you guys. <laughs>